the smell of burning rubber and sounds of screaming engines are sure to ignite some red-hot racing between drivers fighting for a place on the podium. If round one is anything to go by, round two of the Riverina Cup, one not to be missed. From round one, there was a lot of tight competition and going into round two, it's going to be the same thing again. It's not just local talents drivers need to be wary of, but some of the best from across the state competing in a qualifying round of the New South Wales Cup. Should see more competitors, which means in definitely yeah, we'll have a lot more tighter racing. While local drivers do have the home track advantage, if you know motorsport, when it comes down to race day, anything is possible. The track combines a mix of tight cornering and fast straights to make it the ultimate test. In Sportsman Light, local defending champion Matt Capello will look to secure another title against a handful of aggressive drivers, but that could prove difficult. First round, there was a couple of top, top Wagga drivers that were really giving um, the Griffith drivers a run for their money, uh, especially Chris Thomas in, in Sportsman Light. After the weekend, drivers will prepare for the final round coming in November and there'll be something special for spectators, a surprise visit from a V8 supercar driver. It'll be a, a good thing. Um, can't really give out too much information as yet. Dean Foscarini, Win News.